We are at the National Combat Sports Conference. I am joined by Dennis the Menace Bermudez. How are you doing today, Dennis? Good. I'm doing good. So right now you're currently ranked number nine in the UFC uh, featherweight division. Any idea who's on your radar and when that fight will be? Um, we're looking... Well, we, we called out Frankie Edgar um, after my last fight. Um, didn't work out in my favor. <laughs> so... Um, so I want to find an MSG. You know, I, I, I helped uh, push lobbying to get MMA legalized in New York. You know, so I, I feel like I should I, I should have first dibs on that card. You know, um, unfortunately, it's not looking like I'm gonna be able to get on that card. Um, we've got Pettis in our sights. We have Holloway in our sights. Speaking of UFC 205 and Frankie Edgar, earlier this week, Jeremy Stevens versus uh, Frankie Edgar was announced you have a loss to Jeremy Stevens you're very familiar with Frankie Edgar kind of you know in that tri-state New York yeah. New Jersey area uh, how do you see that fight going down um well let me back up a little bit on that so I do I did on paper lose to Jeremy Stevens however the UFC has like an asterisk next to that loss because one he didn't make weight and two I was annihilating him and he mm -hmm. he pulled off a, you know a miracle, if you will, you know, um, which sucks. So I actually, you know, through the grapevine, you know, some of my friends talking to other friends, um, the UFC gave Frankie the option, who do you want to fight, Dennis Bermudez or Jeremy Stevens? And he said Jeremy Stevens. Interesting. And why, and why that's an easier fight for him. So right now, uh, Conor McGregor's the champion. Right. He hasn't fought his last two uh, fights at 145. That kind of ties up everybody in yep. the featherweight division. So does that do anything to your mindset knowing that you can keep winning and winning and winning, but all these guys who are ranked ahead of you haven't even got their title shot yet? Right. Um, so speaking with my manager, um, Connor says he's going to go down back down to 145. But having success at a higher weight class, me and my manager kind of thinking, you know, as soon as he starts cutting weight and gets hungry one time, he's going to be like, you know what? F this. I'm just gonna fight heavier because, you know, I've had success there. Why, you know, why, why kill myself trying to make 45? And then Aldo also said, wherever McGregor fights, I'm going to fight. So if McGregor goes up to 155, Aldo's going up to 155, which leaves Frankie, who's already fighting Jeremy Stevens, so he's tied up. And then there's Holloway, because I tried to fight Pettis at MSG. And the UFC told me that they need somebody ready to rock and roll to fight Holloway if Connor goes up to 155. So right now, you know, it could be two days we hear something, like here's what he's going to do. It could be two weeks that everything changes, you know. So right now we're getting ready to be ready. Um, and then in my head, well, why don't you let me fight Holloway? I beat him. Because when the title gets vacated because those two go up to 155, mm -hmm. Holloway gets the, gets the title shot, you know? Um, so in my head, why don't I fight Holloway for the title shot? Because we have some history there. Pettis and him don't have any history, you know what I'm saying? So, or a story, you know, it's just he's ranked higher than me. So you're calling out Holloway right now? Yeah, I'll fight Holloway. I mean, he's ranked, I beat him already, and he's ranked ahead of me. I'm, I will call out everybody that has a number lower than my number in front of their name all the way up to the title. All right. Well, there you have it. Dennis Bermudez wants answered for the 145 division. All right.